Hey everybody, um, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to work this um, review problem um, on your uh, exam review for you um, so that you guys can see the keystrokes. What I've done is I simply reproduce the question here and I have entered the data as it was presented into column B. So the first thing <clears throat> that I've got to do is I'm going to just so that you all can, can practice with this, is I'm going to sort the data. So I'm going to click on this column. I'm coming up here to sort. I'm going to go smallest to largest. I'm going to click, and it's going to sort it for me. All right, so now the question tells you we are going to um, look at recent murders in 24 cities. And I want you to construct a frequency distribution using five classes. Right? In order to use five classes, remember I have to determine my class width. So I'm going to go from 72, which is my smallest, to 390. And I'm going to calculate the range between those two. All right, so I found out that my range was 318. So I simply took 390 minus 72. That gave me 63.6. Remember, I'm always going to round up, so I'm going to ask for a class interval or a class width of 64. So now that I know that I have five classes with a class interval of 64, I'm going to use Megastat to do this one. So I'm going to come up to Add-ins. I'm going to click there. I'm going to come to Megastat, I'm going to go to a frequency distribution, and I want quantitative. This is going to be my nifty dialog box. Remember, I just calculated my interval width as 64. I'm going to enter that. I want the lower boundary of my first interval to be 72, the smallest number right here. So I'm going to say 72. Hang on, guys. Got to answer the phone. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so I've got my interval width of 64, my lower boundary of 72. That's going to give me five classes. Remember, the question says I need a histogram, so I'm going to click this one. I need a frequency polygon, so I'm going to click this one. I need an ogive. I'm going to click here, so that's going to give you those three graphs that I need. Then I'm going to come up here and place my cursor in input range because it needs to know where the data is. I'm going to highlight my columns, and I should see those numbers in that little box getting bigger. When I'm done, I'm just simply going to let go of my mouse, and I'm going to say OK. And my computer's going to think. And now this is the output you should have. You should have your frequency distribution with the frequencies, the percentage, the cumulative, and the um, cumulative percentage. It should have given you a histogram, a frequency polygon, and way down here, your ogive, your ogive. So now I'm going to go back to the problem, and I'm going to see what else I've asked you guys to do. Okay, so I'm coming back up here to add-ins. Click here. Hang on. And I'm going back to Megastat, except this time I want descriptive statistics. Once I get my descriptive statistics, remember what I'm after here is not this. I'm after a dot plot and a stem and leaf plot. Remember, we don't split our stems. So for here, I need to come back up in for my input range, put my cursor there, highlight the cells with my data, let go of my mouse, make sure that I'm OK, and I'm going to click OK. Thanks for a second. 
Remember, this is where Megastack kind of jams all this stuff in. And I'm going to put right here, I'm going to just double click. So here's my stem and leaf plot right here. Here's my dot plot, just like I needed. And so I think we're almost done. Let me, let's go back to the question and see what we finished. All right, so I'm going to come back over here to my output. And I'm going to take a look because what Megastat has done is it's put everything on the same output sheet. See, it put that stem and leaf plot down there at the bottom. So now I've got my frequency polygon and everything. So <laughs> what I'm going to what I want you all to do is now just to comment and talk to me about what you think of in terms of dispersion. Um, and when we talk about dispersion and shape, we're talking about whether or not you all think this data is skewed, whether it's approximately normal, um, whether it appears to be, you know, well dispersed. Um, I'm going to leave that part up to you guys. So um, hopefully with this, oh, last thing. What you all are going to end up with is you all are going to end up with this one worksheet output sheet that has all of your data on it. What you're going to need to do is to come up here and click into one of these cells and I want you to type, I want you to come up into one of these cells and I want to type you to type your name and then whatever question number this is. and then I'm going to want you to print it. Now printing on mine's a little bit different because it's I'm Office 2007. You all are going to be working out of 2010. If you get to the point where you are not sure how to print, then you're just going to get you to raise your hand and I'll come over and print it for you. You're going to then take this output sheet, staple it to your exam, turn it in with all the rest of your right answers. So hope this helps and I'll talk to you guys soon.